In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the importance of exercise selection when it comes to improving change of direction ability. Welcome to another episode of Two Minute Tuesday. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the concept of program design, or more specifically, exercise selection when it comes to improving change of direction ability on the tennis court. Now, change of direction in tennis does include movements to the net, transition movements, and back from the net for that matter. However, the most common change of direction movements on court are that of a lateral nature. Research published in the Journal of Sports Medicine in 2018 by Dos Santos et al. suggests that ballistic and explosive exercises, but that with slightly slower stretch shortening cycle or amortization phase, are selected as opposed to plyometric based exercises which are of a more fast twitch or of a shorter stretch shortening cycle. I'll place a link above to a video that I've previously done and explaining amortization phase and plyometrics. But in this video in particular, I wanna highlight the use of ballistic and dynamic exercises, particularly those that are loaded horizontally. Now on the screen, you'll see an example of what I classify as a horizontally loaded ballistic or dynamic exercise. This exercise is a single leg jammer. You may be fortunate enough to have access to a jammer in your gym. As you can see in the video, I've quite simply set this rig up with nothing but a bar, a squat rack and a TRX or suspension trainer, which the majority of people have access to even in commercial gyms. This is a fantastic single leg exercise, which is of a horizontal nature. And according to the research, this type of exercise, which although it does have a very fast explosive stretch shortening cycle, it is that of a slightly slower nature than your typical plyometric exercise. This combined with the fact that it's a horizontally loaded exercise proves very, very useful for changes of direction that are of a greater angle than 135 degrees. This is an example of an exercise that should be a regular part of either yours or your athlete's training program if you're looking to improve change of direction at angles greater than 135 degrees. Other exercises include broad jumps, explosive barbell hip thrusts, and lateral bounds. Whilst these exercises are all very different from one another, they are all loaded horizontally, and whilst they are explosive and dynamic, very ballistic, they don't possess as short of a stretch shortening cycle as a movement such as a drop jump or a depth jump, as explained and illustrated in a previous video, which I'll link above. My advice to you or your athletes is for you to place these exercises regularly within your training program. You could consider supersetting these with a heavier, more strength-based exercise, such as a back squat or a barbell hip thrust. And these will act really nice as a contrast superset within any strength program to help improve change of direction at angles greater than 135 degrees. Give these a go, and if you regularly test agility on court, after a number of weeks or months of doing these types of exercises, you should notice a significant improvement in your change of direction ability. If you're looking to become stronger, faster, more robust and athletic on the tennis court, but are not yet ready to commit to online bespoke coaching with me here at Tennis Strong, then I have just released an example or samples of our single leg strength training program that is available online. These sample sessions are completely free and are there for you to use in your own time. All you have to do is go to the link that I've placed below in the description and follow the on-screen instructions. You'll receive an email with a link and a password and have immediate access to two sample single leg strength training sessions that are part of our one of our downloadable 13 week strength packages. In addition for this, for being one of our loyal followers, I've also placed a couple of gifts within that link also. So please do head to the link in the description below and follow the on-screen instructions and I'll hopefully be speaking to you individually very soon. Thanks for watching. I hope you found today's video interesting. Please hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell icon to the right of that to get notified of our next release.